I'm Carrie. I started Lux Boudoir 14 years ago. Over the years, we've helped thousands of women feel empowered and discover their self-confidence with boudoir. Today, I'm gonna to show you how we help women see themselves in a different light. Thanks for coming, Julia. No problem. All partner. right, so I have a couple questions for you. Okay. So we'd love to know why you wanted to do a boudoir shoot. Well, it's always something that I've been interested in and, you know, I thought, what a great way to really just like love my body <laughs> and like kind of grow that self-love a little bit more and mm -hmm. um, do something I've never done before. It's a little risque. So has there been anything that you've had to overcome as a woman to express your like femininity or sexuality <clears throat> or? That's a good question. It really, I think, brings it back to when I had breast cancer. I had that, I had it in 2016 and I had chemo and radiation and I like lost my hair and you know it really like stripped everything of me and everything that I thought was like you know beauty on the outside and really made me kind of look within and try to start loving myself from the inside more and I think you know five years later I'm in remission and um, I think this is the ultimate way to really show myself that love and um, you know that it's all inside and outside and I think I'm just learning to be comfortable in my own skin now. That's amazing. Yeah. So speaking of like self-confidence and body issues, um, how has the media shaped your like journey of accepting your body at, you know, at mm -hmm. all stages? Because obviously going through chemo, you've probably gone through different stages of what you look like. Yeah, um, it's interesting because, you know, it's shaped my view of body image in good ways and in bad. Like obviously growing up, um, my image of beauty was just like skinny, you know, a skinny body is a good body and that is all I knew growing up and that was um, all I ever wanted. And I think now social media has like evolved so much and there's so much like body positivity out there that there's so many role models and people I can look to that um, just really show me what other bodies look like and diversity. and. Show me that every shows me that everybody that can be beautiful no matter what shape and size. So I think it's influenced it in you know good and bad ways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So speaking of like when you were growing up, a lot of children of the '80s and '90s. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there is this the skinny is perfect. Yeah. But did it take a while to kind of learn to love yourself the way you are? Absolutely. It's taken me 37 years, and I'm still kind of learning to love myself the way I am. Like obviously skinny, blonde hair, blue eyes, that's what the dream was growing up, you know? And now every decade that goes by, I just learn more about myself and, you know, learn to love myself more. It's such a hard thing. I don't think that'll ever end, that learning that. But yeah, now I think my ideal of beauty has changed and it is more diverse. And I'm happy about that. Mm. So what stopped you from doing a shoot in the past? Mm -hmm. So obviously body, my body size. I always thought, you know, I got to lose weight before doing this. Um, and just that. So I think as time went on, I'm kind of, like I said, realizing that all bodies are beautiful. And, you know, looking at Lux Boudoir Instagram page is super inspiring and like, beautiful ladies of all different shapes and sizes just kind of inspired me to go for it. Nice. That's great. One question that I have for you is what, I mean, and obviously I'm, I'm guessing that I might know the answer to this, but <laughs> what experience has made you stronger mm -hmm. or more confident in who you are? Definitely the cancer. <laughs> Having cancer, that kind of like changed my whole world and turned it upside down, but you know, really for the better like obviously cancer is a scary thing but I can't count endlessly the things that it's done for me in a positive way like it's really shown me that I can be stripped of everything but still look you know feel beautiful and learn to feel beautiful so it's given me so much strength you know just to internally feel more beautiful <laughs> as well um, so yeah Tell me a little bit about your cancer experience. Like, how did you find out? <laughs> I always cry talking about this. Aww. Um. <sighs> it's okay. 
We're okay. here for you. <laughs> it was um, 2016, and um, it was after you know I had been on Master Chef, and you know I was on the world on a whirlwind from that um, being on that, and you know life was great. I was with a partner of my dreams, and I found out because my doctor accidentally sent me the results because she thought. Oh my goodness. Yeah, they sent it to me and I was like, oh, you're sending it to me? That's weird. And I read it and I'm like, carcinoma, what's that? You know? So then I, I called my friend that was a doctor and he was the one that told me and I just remember being at work and like, just like wailing. <laughs> I left work that day and uh, I just remember it was such weird weather when I got home. It was pouring rain but the sun was out and there was a rainbow i know that sounds so cheesy but i have That's it on great. i have it on video i'm like this is really really weird and you know i was just sitting on the couch with my fiance and we were both just like crying and not knowing what to expect and um i found out in the weirdest way too like i was just sleeping and i just decided to like shoot up out of bed one morning and i thought oh i should check my breast and i never weird do that and I never checked myself and I checked and I found a lump and I'm like oh weird and then it just all kind of snowballed from there and that's what it was so yeah I found it myself <laughs> so I guess your body just kind of knows yeah um so yeah it was traumatic <laughs> thinking back to first finding out that always gets me there's a lot of tough tough moments that followed but a lot of beautiful moments that came from it so how did your family react to, oh. is it like, a fam, do you have family history of breast cancer? Well, or? no, no, but get this, like five years before that, my older sister was diagnosed with cancer, but like a different kind. <gasps> but she's okay now, <laughs> you know, so I watched her go through all of that, like chemo and stuff. And, uh, so she kind of like paved that way for me to tell my parents because that was the hardest part was telling my parents you know but they took it so well but who knows if they went home and cried after but um, I think they were just kind of like you know had been through that with my sister so they were a little more prepared as much you know as prepared as you can be for that kind of news and so, yeah, took it a little bit better than I expected. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, uh, it's just crazy that kind of experience and what kind of love it brings you. You know, people from all corners of the earth <laughs> were, were wishing me well, and that was really nice to see and have that kind of support. So that's where social media comes in and it becomes a beautiful thing. For sure. Yeah. <laughs> so, you were with the love of your life? Yeah. <laughs> so how, how was the experience for your relationship? And Right. You know, because that's probably a big, you know, a big deal. Yeah. I mean, you would think that that is something that would test your relationship, but it absolutely didn't. He was, he like saved me in so many ways and was just there for me and everything that you would want. <laughs> your partner to do he did and you know he probably he would go on walks with the dog and that's when he would go cry and he would never let me see him cry um and he just made me laugh and it was just almost like a nice vacation away from not working just to be at home with him and have him take care of me so yeah that's amazing mm -hmm. <laughs> wow that's such a powerful story. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> yeah. I mean, we might have touched on this a little bit, but how is having cancer, like, how has that affected what you do in your life now? Like, oh. has it changed your outlook or your perspective on online? <clears throat> Good question. Um, how has changed me now? I think I'm a lot more into self-healing, not just, like, body-wise, but, like, mind-wise. And... Um, you know, um, like meditation and, um, you know, it, it just, I don't know, I feel like my life is more peaceful. I'm learning to love my body a lot more, whereas before it was like, I gotta lose weight, I gotta look like this, I gotta lose weight before I do this, and now I'm just like, let's just do this. 
Um, so yeah, I think it's changed me, made me more spontaneous, but also a calmer person and just enjoying life, not letting the little things get to me. Yeah. Wow, that's great. <laughs> I'm like crying over there. I know. <laughs> I didn't think I would cry this much. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> what would you tell your younger self today? Life lessons. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, I would tell my younger self that this gift is for you, this life. You've had a beautiful life and you have beautifully, beautiful people surrounding you and there's nothing left to do but just to live it with no regrets and that whoever you are and whatever you become is absolutely perfect and your flaws make you beautiful and there was never a need to change yourself. It's amazing that. Yeah. <laughs> That's so yeah. great. What do you hope to gain from this experience? Like in terms of all of the different aspects of your, you know, mm -hmm. the everything, you know? Absolutely number one would be confidence <laughs> because uh, you know, growing up just with the influence of social media and body image stuff, you know, that confidence definitely gets beat down and um, can't help but compare yourself sometimes to other people. So I really hope to see myself in this light. I will, you know, feel more confident in who I am and that it'll contribute to this self-love path. Um, and yeah, just that it'll be like the perfect example of like just taking the dive and doing it with no fear. And the result is beautiful. How did you deal with like losing your hair? Right. I think that was another really like pivotal day was going to my first doctor's appointment and I was like, am I going to have to shave my head or lose my hair? Because there's some chemos where you don't. Yeah. Um, so the minute he told me, I like bawled, like cried just as much as when I found out I had it. it was, you know, my hair was just such like a safety blanket for me and I was so scared to not have it. And um, yeah, so he's like, you're gonna live, but you're gonna lose your hair. And I'm like, why am I crying? I'm gonna <laughs> live, you know? Um, so that was a, a tough day <laughs> to hear that. Yeah, I feel like hair specifically for women is such a huge, um, part of the personality. Mm -hmm. So how did you, you said you wore wigs, like how did you come across, like yeah. tell us about that experience. So when I shaved it, yeah, it was like a traumatic experience. So lots, did you go from like long hair to oh. shaving it off or? It, my hair was like as lo a little longer than it was now, but like way thicker too. It was just beautiful. <laughs> and um, so, it was crazy because like after I shaved it, it was I had like a buzz cut and I was like, oh my God, I am feeling this. Like I <laughs> felt so badass. Um, and yeah, I bought wigs and had a lot of fun with it. Did you lose your lashes and your eyebrows? Like do they, did, you grow, did they grow back really easily or is that something that's like a hazard of having chemo? Well, for many people, I feel like it grows back fine and like you know thicker or like different or curlier but for me like I lost my lashes took forever to grow back I didn't really have much brow to begin with but now it's pretty much like nothing <laughs> now there's no brow there um my hair has been a struggle like it's definitely thinner than it used to be and I'm just trying to learn to accept that so that's been a little bit of a challenge So tell me about your experience going to um, Forever Yours to get some oh, yeah. lingerie for the for the shoot. Yeah, that was so much fun. Um, just walking in, like the store was just beautiful, and the, the ladies working there were so much fun, and they helped me um, measure myself, which I've never really done before before trying on lingerie. So it was nice to know that I could find an exact fit. <clears throat> and um, she pulled lots of pieces and just tried on some lots of outfits, had a cool fashion show, and um, yeah, I picked out three pieces that were 
um, I guess something I wouldn't usually choose, so I'm excited to wear them, and yeah, they were a great help, and it was lots of fun. How does your partner feel about you doing a shoot? Does A, does he know? B, do you, would you like do this as a wedding gift? Oh, um. uh, C, <laughs> yeah, what's his, what's his thoughts on the whole boudoir photo shoot? Oh, well, I was a little nervous to ask him, <laughs> but I did, and he was like, yeah, go for it. Um, so he's all for it. He's totally good with it. And yeah, he's just always supportive with whatever it is. Amazing keeper. Yeah, he sounds great. Mm -hmm. Yeah, will always comment on your weight. You know, the aunt you haven't seen in forever. Uh, they're always going to say something. So that was definitely part of it growing up. That's important. Like having that, you know, somewhat either either choosing to realize that like it doesn't matter if you're accepted yeah. by your family because they have strict you know rules or whatever mm -hmm. versus you know having them be like oh okay yeah like we were you know our thinking was different and it was like more old school and now yeah. we're open to realizing that like you're still healthy you're still beautiful <laughs> you're still you know yeah. an amazing person doesn't matter what size you are right I think that's where we break that generational, traditional thing about bodies and acceptance and stuff like that. So I think this is, this is the time when we change all that, make them realize, you know? Yeah. So you mentioned earlier about um, the Lux Instagram account. So what is it about Lux that um, made you want to do this in terms of whether it's style or um, showcasing different people or whatever, what what was your like determining factor? I think it was just seeing the variety of body sizes, um, ages, just different kinds of people on your page and how they were all just styled so beautifully, but they still just looked like them. And you know, it's, I could tell nothing was like, edited to remove a roll or a lump or a bump like it's all just them in raw form and it was just very well done and tasteful tasteful that was that's for sure factor yeah 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 i think that um that's the one thing that we strive for is to make sure that you know, you're still, I would say like, we're not going to turn you, yes, we do fo do some Photoshop, but we don't turn you into somebody different. Yeah. You know, you're always going to be you and we're just going to enhance your natural beauty. Yeah. No? <laughs> do we want glam or do we want... Oh, I'm loving Okay, that. so we like something bigger. Yeah. Dark. Darker. You want those? <laughs> As for poses, I just don't want it to look too X-rated. <laughs> that's <laughs> a slight fear, but um, yeah, that's it really. I'm open to just what up, going with it. And do you think that that um, that just going with it is really a result of the last like five years of your life? I think so. Yeah. Like, would 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 Julia twenty fifteen do this? Oh my god, no. <laughs> be scared. Definitely to be scared. Um, but yeah, I think older Julia has just been going for it and it's always turned out great. Wow, it looks so glamorous. How do you feel? Like amazing, like a new woman. <laughs> like I like don't think I've ever looked this glam, well, in a long time. Do you feel boudoir ready? I do, I do. I'm feeling very in character. I love it. Yeah, you look great. Thank you guys.
Okay, so let's see what pieces you brought today. Okay, first one I have is this black lacy little number. That's beautiful. I thought it was super cute, really flattering. Yeah, that's gonna look great. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I really like this detail. It's gonna be great along your waist. Yeah, me yeah. too. Nice. Perfect. Okay. Second one is this magenta bodysuit. Love the bodysuit. Playful, yeah. colorful. That's awesome. Oh, that's so pretty. Yeah. Yeah, this is gonna look great on you. And the last one is this white bra and panty set. Kind Pretty. of more like bridal looking, bridal, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, as this is a bridal, um, yeah, we have an awesome veil. So I'll show you. Ooh, okay. We can add that to it too. Cool. Oh, so nice. We've got this like full length, beautiful veil. Oh, so good. we can do some like, you know, wrapping around you, all that kind of stuff. Nice. Yeah. Can't and wait. it'll go great. Love it. Perfect. What I want you to do is bring this arm, come like straight down, and then you're gonna, this one you're gonna kinda come like this, and you're gonna rest your, yeah, like that, yeah. And then give me like your size. Perfect. Gorgeous. Killing it. Beautiful. Alright, beautiful. Now bring your uh, both your hands up into your hair and then bring your chin up towards me this way. Like that way. Yeah, perfect. Good. Nice. And up a little bit more. Yeah, nice. Gorgeous. Ah, so good. Over a little bit. Yeah, perfect. And then chin up towards me. Gorge. Hold on, let's fix it. Then bring both arms back. No, that's okay. Up to me with your eyes. And then bring this arm down into your strap. Yeah, nice. That's perfect. Yeah, that looks great. Okay. Beautiful. Love it. You would say. <laughs> yeah, that's really pretty. Okay, just turn a little bit more towards me. Yeah, nice. Bring elbow, uh, bend your elbow a little bit. Yeah, perfect. You're gonna turn towards me. Bum is gonna be against the wall. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, and then you're gonna one arm like this and the other arm like this. Yep, nice. Stay there. Yeah, just like that. Gorgeous. I love it. Turn your head a bit more towards me. Yeah, nice. The sun is coming in really nicely, you know? Maybe for the guys it's bad, but for me it's good. Love it. I love it. I know it's fun to play with a veil, right? Yeah. Okay. That looks great. That looks popping. This looks great. Oh my god, you, you're working it. You like this pose. <laughs>
Rotate your body a little bit towards the street. Yeah, and then uh, uh, bend that elbow back a little bit. Nice, stay there. Yeah, perfect. And then bring this hand, just kind of like. Bella, Bella, your little head's in the way. Yeah, like that, perfect. Bella, Bella, come on. Come on. Oh yeah, I love it. Great. Okay, so what you're gonna do here is you're going to be lounging. So feet up here, shoulders here. You wanna come back. Boobs out, arch your back up as much as you can. Mm -hmm. Okay, and then hold like that. Oh. Okay. Okay, so start up with both hands in your hair. Yeah, and arch your back up as much as you can. Perfect. Yeah, arch, arch, arch. Boobs out as much as possible. Okay, and then reverse your arms. So do the exact same thing, but the other way, and then turn your head a little bit towards the window. Nice. Close your eyes for just a sec. Take a nice deep breath. Deep breath. Uh, there you go. Perfect. And bring your, yeah, bring your hand up. Perfect. Chin around a little bit more. Yeah, nice. There you go. And then bring your um, far arm underneath your boobs so that you're like, yeah. Yeah, you can actually bring it to your arm here. So you're kind of like, yeah. Perfect. Nice. You might have Stella in the background in a couple of your shots. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And then chin this way. And then bring this arm across you like that and roll your shoulders this way towards me. Yeah. Perfect. But like, let, don't hold, like kind of let it, yeah, fall. Perfect. And then come up on the side with your, yeah. There you go. Nice. Perfect, stay there. And then bring this arm and you're kind of doing one of these. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, and then chin this way a little bit more. Yeah, nice. You actually come down a little bit with your, yeah, and then chin this way. Okay, so you're gonna sit down here. Oh. Daggered legs again, everything. Daggered legs, right? Okay, so then we're gonna go hair back, like this, and then like that. Okay? Yeah, easy. To here. And then, yeah, just looking at me here. Nice. Oh, so pretty. Gorge. And then bring your far hand and just kind of like up into the hair, rest it. Yeah up a little bit. Nice. Perfect. So with this one, what you want to do is be up nice and tall, but then push your chest out versus like some people do this. So you want to just like kind of rest your butt and then hands up. Okay. Okay. okay so what you're going to do is nice and tall, bring both your hands up into your hair and then you're going to, yep, that's all you need to do. This one's super easy. And then drop your um, uh, right arm, be careful. And then turn your head towards the window. And uh, let your hair fall uh, on your back, on that side, yeah, perfect. Beautiful. Perfect, great. 
you can flex it at that position. <laughs> All right. Dagger, pointed toes. And then if you're open to hurting your head, <laughs> you're gonna come up onto your head like this and like that. So you wanna have like really arched off of the ground, okay? okay? Up at me here, yeah, nice. Bring your knee so that, or sorry, bring your foot here so that you're more bendy. Yeah, perfect, good. And then just point your toes underneath. Yeah. Nice. You're like I'm having so much fun now. Okay, and then chin this way. Yeah, bring that shoulder in a little. Nice. And a little coy. Yeah, that's right. I'm in bed. <laughs> oh, yeah. She even got the bed head. Gorgeous. They're so pretty. Beautiful. I love it. All right, you're here to see your pictures. Oh, I'm so excited. Yay. I'm so excited, this is my favorite part. Um, all right, so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put one picture up on the screen okay. and we're gonna chat a little bit about how you feel about that photo. Okay. 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 All right, your photos are stunning. <gasps> yeah. All right, so <gasps> there they are. <gasps> there you are. Oh, who's that bad girl? <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> wow. Yeah, how do you feel okay. about that? Okay, oh my gosh. I, I don't know. It's like, who is that? <laughs> That's you. That's you That's and all your beauty. Me. Holy. How is that making you feel right now? Confident. <laughs> That's so amazing. How do you feel seeing yourself in like a, you know, more of a like sort of sexier light as opposed to just the typical like, you know, smiling in front of the camera? Yeah. It's just, it just seems like it's like my alternate ego, you know? How. <laughs> Like, who is that girl? <laughs> it's so yeah. hard to believe because no, I've never seen myself in anything like that or posed like that or it's just so different. Like, wow. It yeah. does make me feel more confident for sure. Good. Yay. <gasps> oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you give good face. <laughs> you give great face. Oh man. The boobs, the hands, the face. I know. It's oh. so good. Oh my god. So how does this feel? Because this is definitely a little bit more like sensual. Yeah. I mean, it's not like too much. No, like, just, no, it's not. Right. But it's definitely, you know, it's a, it's a little less PG. But, yeah. <laughs> for, for lack of a better word. But I think it's still very tasteful and just... Huh. I don't know. It's just like the ultimate like... It's like feminine and beautiful and oh, say that about myself but it's just all the right things and you're allowed to say that about yourself yeah I guess so right? Good. now do you feel like you really have ever seen yourself in this light or feel you know like the confidence you're feeling right now is that something that's new yes yeah more than I've ever felt before that's so amazing yeah. yeah how did it feel getting like you know getting your makeup done and, and having that like you said soft smoky eye like just like, a little bit different than normal mm -hmm, just like so pampered because I've mm -hmm. literally never had anyone do my full hair and makeup you know it's always like either or so it's like just letting go and letting someone else do it it's great and yeah yeah it looks it's great just, yeah it looks so good <gasps> oh 
<laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the boob. So how do you feel now about like the lingerie that you chose? Oh, it's so flattering. Yeah. It just like hugs all the curves perfectly. And it's, yeah, so flattering. I don't know, I was just fearing today kind of, you know, I'm like, oh, what if I hate it? What if I look stupid? <laughs> you know, all those anxieties, but it's yeah. just like, uh, just a pleasant surprise. And you know, you always think the worst of yourself, but mm -hmm. this like gives that confidence. You're like, hey, I can, I can look hot, I can model. <laughs> oh, okay, this is the one I was scared about. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I just thought it was just like all the rolls out, all the lumps and bumps showing. Oh, but no. It, it's, no, no, you look amazing. I love it. Yeah. I love the like the long, like long torso, arms mm -hmm. up, lots of good curves. Yeah. Did you think that that person existed inside you? You know what? Yes, but I was never had the opportunity and I was always scared to let her out and this really like gave me the platform to do so and yeah, I like I I fully unleashed her that day. Yeah. So thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> and I feel like that's something that's really um, a sort of common theme is that yeah. we all have the sexy person in us, yeah. right? Yeah. But whether society or, you know, family or all of the things, we don't, we're scared to let it out. Mm -hmm. You know, scared, scared to show that, that yeah. part of us, right? Yeah, exactly. It's so fear. do you think that some of that fear has come from, like, family or, like... Absolutely. Yeah. Just, you know, growing up and all the influences of what beauty should be, mm -hmm. I think suppressed her. <laughs> yeah. But this is sure, just, this is like the day she's born. <laughs> oh, we, we birthed yeah. the sexy you. <laughs> Sweet. Yeah, isn't it beautiful? Yeah, this one's yeah. pretty. I love the lighting in this. Yeah, me too. It's very soft. Okay, let's go to this one because this one is... Oh! <laughs> Got it. Oh my. Yeah. How that, do you feel looking at that woman? I, I don't know. She's she's bad she's, she's a bad fierce. she's fierce yeah oh my goodness wow yeah i, I don't know it's like shocking still <laughs> so why is it why do you feel like it's shocking it's just showing so much of my insecure parts but then like once i kind of like let that go and push that aside i can see a bit more clearly that i look really good you look fantastic <laughs> Yeah. So what is it about, like, what are your insecure parts? Like what, because I look at this photo and I'm like, wow, this woman has like all the right curves and all the right places. It's so weird because insecurities, I feel like just blind me so much and I just can't see through it sometimes. And I'm insecure about my whole body. <laughs> so doing this was really like throwing me into the, you know, into an uncomfortable zone. So once I think about it and take a breath and move aside the insecurities, it does look good. And it's just weird that I need a moment to do that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Yeah. And how is that um, now being like looking at it from a place of like, you're moving the insecurities aside <clears throat> and looking at it at a place of like, this is me. Yeah, I feel like, you know, being too hard on myself and being too mean <laughs> about my body and you know we all have that negative self-talk that's so hard to just stop sometimes and this just forces me to stop it and see what I truly look like and I'm so thankful for that yeah you look fantastic thank you <gasps> I like it <laughs> <laughs> it's cute yeah, I see yeah. a woman there that is like, knows her stuff and is so like strong. Oh, Do you see that? I do. It's like she's playful, she's fun, and she's fierce. <laughs> yeah. So how does that feel? Thinking that you're all of those things. I guess I've honestly never seen myself as strong 
And why, uh, why is that? I don't know. You've I clearly just, been through a, uh, a lot, right? No, I think just being like an emotional being <laughs> and such a crier that I just portray that just seems like not a strong thing. But looking at the things I've been through, yeah, that's that's strong. Yeah, you're such a strong woman. Yeah, it definitely feels like an unborn side of me coming out. <sighs> and why do you think that, I mean, why, why do you think it's taking something like this to bring out that side of you? I think it just proves that doing the uncomfortable thing helps you grow, you know? And I can say this is probably the most <laughs> uncomfortable thing that I've ever done, pushed aside all of what I think people would think my insecurities and just did it like and you know, the result is growth it's crazy and so do you fun. think those those doubts all came from like where did they come from like Julie as a child or <sighs> oh yeah uh, Julie as a child um growing up like up until this very day those doubts have followed me and been influenced from places like, you know, media, family, and my own self-doubt. Uh, so I think this really helped me put those doubts aside so much. Like, I just don't recognize her, but I'm so proud to be her. <laughs> Wow, these curves. <laughs> How do you feel about those yeah, curves? Yeah, very, again, not what I thought I looked like. It's, I don't know, it's like speechless. It's great, the colors and the, the lighting, but I mean, yeah, overall I think, like I just feel, yeah, crazy confidence. So why do you think you like you're like oh those curves like where what part of your life told you that those curves were a not good or b didn't exist c you know oh, gosh yeah I think obviously your years through childhood are so influential and you know just watching TV and looking at magazines you don't see women oh I didn't see women that had curves back then you know there was no one to look up to with that kind of body shape and now if I were to see this in a magazine as a kid I mean I would I would hope that kids see these kind of body shapes now and that they grow up differently you know like I don't I feel like I don't want kids to grow up thinking like like one ideal of beauty. I hope kids now, like I have nieces, you know, and I just hope they grow up <laughs> knowing that okay. they're pretty, like whatever size they're at, and that they wouldn't have the doubts that I had. <laughs> Sorry, my talk about my nieces, I get emotional. It's all good. It's all good. <laughs> So do you think that having images like this, are you going to show your nieces? Well, are you going to show them how, you know? How maybe beautiful? some more <laughs> PG versions of these pictures. But yeah, I, I would hope that I am a role model for them and that it would be the best example to set them on the right path of how to be confident in themselves and, you know, not body shame mm -hmm. <laughs> themselves or anyone else. Because it's so hard to break that, so hard to reject diet culture and everything that you see. So I hope just this is like a glimmer, a glimmer of light and hope for that. <laughs> yeah, you look stunning. Thank you. You should be on a magazine. Oh, oh my gosh, I wish. <laughs> One day, I'll manifest that. One day. <laughs> One day. How do you feel now knowing that like seeing these photos and, and having that experience, like do you feel like that's going to resonate in the rest of your life? Mm, that's a great question. Yeah, this absolutely teaches me the biggest 
lesson of all to just do the uncomfortable and that it will equal growth like the the exact example of that and i think in my life i'm just gonna take all the risks now you know have no fear or have some fear but do it anyway so do you think that you this um, experience is gonna make you see life a bit differently or or feel a bit more confidently in your, <gasps> in your body. Oh my God. Right? Yeah. Oh gosh. Um, I definitely think so. But I feel like my just anxiety about my, about my body is just so crippling sometimes that even going out, I get nervous about sometimes, but this really just like takes it all away and just teaches me that what our mind tells us isn't real sometimes. <laughs> What's real is this. So what is, what is that anxiety in your body? Is that just, like tell me what that experience is for you. Oh, it's just like, my body is so different after cancer. Like before cancer, I was much more skinny and I, I compare myself to that old Julia, you know? <laughs> because she was skinny, she was loving life, it was great. And then something like cancer changed my body so much into the opposite. And it's hard to re-love this new version. So I think this really helps me do that. such a good therapist. <laughs> <laughs> I know, I feel like Therapy 101 is a little bit of a boudoir photographer's job. So how does, how does seeing yourself in a sensual way, how does that make you feel? <clears throat> like, obviously, we've already talked about that you've not really seen yourself this way before. Right. But how do you feel about, like, where do you, do you feel happy and, and yeah. empowered that you've that you see yourself this way or is there like a little piece of you that's oh, empowered. uncomfortable? Um, empowered, that's a great word. Yeah, no, definitely empowered. It takes away all that uncomfortable feeling for me, definitely. Like, let's do it again. Let's do more. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna be a more addict. Oh my gosh, I think so. <laughs> Love the curves. Loving all my curves. Yes, that's all me. your curves. That's you. <gasps> oh wow. And is that hard to say? It is. It's like, I don't like complimenting myself. I think most people don't. But I think in this scenario, it's like, yes, definitely I can clap for you. <laughs> so do you think that um, mm -hmm. pre-cancer Julia mm -hmm. was stronger or more confident in her body? Or do you think now you have grown and developed and mm, more confident in body but I think mentally and emotionally I'm definitely stronger now with all that I've been through and loving this new version of myself mm -hmm. yeah definitely I'm stronger now and do you think this is going to make you more confident <laughs> absolutely <laughs> absolutely I will always remember this experience to, and I will keep taking the risks. And so why do you think that pre-Cancer Julia was more confident? I was confident in the aesthetic and that was really all that mattered to me. Um, and I don't think I had like worked on my inside Julia at all. And now I've worked on her so much. I know the ins and outs of her and I've like, healed her and that that is just a whole different level of of strength I think yeah mm -hmm. I mean going through all of the things that <clears throat> you've been through yeah yeah so do you think that now even seeing yourself in this in this view mm -hmm. like you're gorgeous oh thank you so do you think some of that confidence I, now is gonna oh, I think I should now you're at the full package <laughs> yes yes I am <laughs> I think I I believe that now, you know, because before when people would be like, oh, you're beautiful, I'd be like, oh, you're just saying that. <laughs> but I think I believe it now. I definitely believe it. Do you think this has opened up your, um, 
your thoughts on like, it doesn't matter what other people think? Yeah, for sure. It definitely doesn't matter what people think. But also, how could you not think that looks good? <laughs> right? Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. So what do you think, like, in your head, mm -hmm. what, what is it that you thought you looked like? Because clearly you mm. were gorgeous. So what did you see that now you see differently? It's so weird how people see themselves. Because I just saw myself as, like, I don't know, like a frumpy Humpty Dumpty. <laughs> like, uh, with a big stomach and like huge blob hips with no shape. Um, and that's why I guess makeup was so, it is so important to me because I'm like, I can glam this and make this matter. <laughs> but really, it's, I, my body looks great. <laughs> So it's just so hard to make yourself not see what you think you see. Yeah, I see a very lovely curvy lady. Oh, thank you. And I feel like this is just such a big part of self care and self love to do something like this. Cause you know, self care you think of as like doing your nails, taking a bubble bath, but this is just like the royal treatment, the ultimate way for some self-care and self-love. Yeah, I think seeing yourself in a different light like this and mm -hmm. having that mm -hmm. opportunity to like grow yeah. and, you know, and, and experience what other people see in you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Every woman needs to do it. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay, that's what, what I look think? like. <laughs> Again, these Humpty Dumpty glasses are clearing up. <laughs> Yeah, I and, like how, it. and how do you feel about that? I mean, it makes me feel great because I know, like you said, you don't like edit pictures to make it not look like yourself. So mm -hmm. if that's, that's still you. If that's still me, I'm great with that. <laughs> uh, I'm just excited to look back on these pictures when I'm like 60 or 70, you know? Be like, yeah. that was me. And what would you say to your nieces about these pictures? Oh, that's a great question. Um, I would just tell them, you know, like, beauty doesn't have to be one size. Beauty can be lots of shapes and sizes and whatever shape and size you are is going to be beautiful and don't let anyone tell you different and just be confident in yourself and knowing that you can be who you are around us and we'll accept you always. And do you think as a, as younger Julia, that was a huge determining factor of your self-worth? Oh, yeah. Oh, talking about younger Julia. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Self-worth worth was completely on my body size. And you know, it was about losing, losing, losing. But now I have a curvier body and I've gained more than I ever could have wanted. Self-love, confidence, you know, being proud of myself and just gained so much healing. So why is there the need to lose when you can gain all that? <laughs> okay, so we just finished looking at all of your photos. Um, so tell us how you felt about this experience. How has it changed you? Oh my gosh, ah, it's like speechless. It's, it was just amazing to see myself transform inside out and have it and then to see the finished product of it was just amazing um, it really uh, transforms me inside I mean it, like I just have more love for myself and proud of what I was able to do and it's just the biggest like growth I've had in a, a long time you know and you guys made it all so comfortable to be in this environment and you guys were so professional that it, it just, I would do it again. And I would definitely recommend anyone out there to do it because you, you're just going to learn so much about yourself and you'll have no regrets. What do you think the biggest takeaway was from this experience? The biggest takeaway I think would be 
that whatever you go into it wanting, you're gonna you're gonna get it. Because I was like, I want confidence out of this, you know? And I was like, I don't really know if I would get that out of it, but you really do. You, you really do. Whatever you're searching for out of this experience, you're gonna you're gonna have it. <laughs> How could you not? It was just an incredible experience. And what do you think about the experience um, that you had gave you that confidence that you were looking for? I think it was just going through the whole um, whirlwind of emotions, like, you know, the anxiety, the fear, um, and then getting into the poses and feeling confident about doing the poses and, you know, the, the lingerie that you're in. I think a big part of it is the lingerie and how it makes you feel, you know? And if you feel good, then it's, you're going to exude that in your poses. Having this experience, mm -hmm. What would you tell Julia from last week <laughs> about in terms of, you know, self-doubt and um, being scared? Yeah, I would say you're a worry wart and you're worrying way too much. You have this amazing opportunity in front of you to have fun, see yourself in a different light, self-care, self-love, like it's all good. What are you worried about? You're thinking about the what ifs that are negative, but what about the what ifs that are great? Yeah, I love that. That's what I The what ifs that are great are yeah. the most important. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So going out, stepping outside our door <clears throat> after today, mm -hmm. who is Julia? Oh my gosh. By the fierce Julia. She's on the, she's on the outside now, you know? We're no longer hiding her. I'm gonna walk down the street with confidence, gonna wear my clothes with confidence and just, I think we see the world in a bit of a new light, you know? No longer caring who's judging me. Cause I look good. <laughs> Real good. <laughs> yeah. Confident and happy. That was great. Cool. That was yeah. great. Yeah. Do we have an on-screen hug? Yes, we should. <laughs> <laughs> You're so sweet. <laughs> Fun. Thank you. You did a great job. Okay, we'll talk to you soon. Bye.